Judith with the Head of Holofens by Sandro Botticelli, a dramatic representation of a biblical heroine. Sandro Botticelli, circa 1445-1510, was one of the most renowned and influential painters of the Italian Renaissance. He is best known for his mythological and religious paintings, such as the birth of Venus and the adoration of the Magi. His paintings are characterized by graceful figures, harmonious compositions, and exquisite details. One of his lesser-known but equally fascinating works is the painting of Judith with the head of Holofens, which was created between 1497 and 1500. The painting is a tempera on panel, measuring 36.5 cm in height, 20 cm in width, and 7 cm in depth. It is currently housed in the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. Judith with the head of Holofens depicts a scene from the Book of Judith, a biblical story that tells how a Jewish widow named Judith saved her people from the Assyrian army led by the general Holofens. According to the story, Judith went to the enemy camp, seduced Holofens, and beheaded him while he was asleep. She then returned to her city with his head as a trophy, inspiring her people to defeat the invaders. In Botticelli's painting, Judith is shown stepping out from the tent where she killed Holofens, holding his severed head in her left hand and a sword in her right hand. She wears a lavish dress, with a red cloak and a green gown, that reflects her noble status and her courage. Her face is hidden by a veil, suggesting her modesty and her cunning. Her maidservant, who accompanied her to the camp, stands behind her, holding a basket to carry the head. She appears as a dark and shadowy figure, contrasting with Judith's bright and radiant appearance. The painting is full of symbolic details that convey the meaning and the message of the story. For example, the tent is decorated with rich fabrics and ornaments, indicating the wealth and the power of Holofens. The tent also serves as a backdrop for the painting, creating a sense of enclosure and intimacy. The opening of the tent reveals a dark and starry night, suggesting the secrecy and the danger of Judith's mission. The sword that Judith holds is a symbol of her strength and her justice, while the head that she holds is a symbol of her victory and her faith. Botticelli's painting of Judith with the head of Holofens has a long and complex history of ownership and displacement, which reflects the political and cultural changes that occurred in Europe over the centuries. The painting was originally commissioned by a Florentine nobleman named Pier Francesco de' Medici, who was a cousin and a patron of Lorenzo de' Medici, the ruler of Florence and a prominent supporter of the arts. The painting was part of a series of four paintings that depicted female heroines from the Bible and classical mythology, namely Judith, Lucretia, Esther, and Pallas. The paintings were intended to decorate Pier Francesco's villa in Castello, near Florence. The paintings remained in the Medici family until the 18th century, when they were sold by the last heir of the branch, Anna Maria Luisa de' Medici, to the Elector Palatine of the Rhine, Johann Wilhelm. The paintings were then transferred to his residence in Düsseldorf, where they were admired by many visitors and scholars, who recognized their artistic value and significance. However, the paintings also faced some dangers and damages during their stay in Düsseldorf. In 1719, a fire broke out in the palace, destroying some of the paintings and damaging others. In 1794, during the French Revolutionary Wars, the paintings were looted by the French troops and taken to Paris, where they were exhibited in the Louvre. In 1815, after the Congress of Vienna, the paintings were returned to the Elector Palatine's successor, the King of Bavaria, who had them restored and displayed in his palace in Munich. In 1826, the paintings were sold by the King of Bavaria to the King of the Netherlands, William I, who had them installed in his palace in Brussels. In 1830, during the Belgian Revolution, the paintings were moved to The Hague, where they were stored in a warehouse. In 1883, the paintings were finally transferred to the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, where they have been on permanent display ever since. The painting of Judith with the head of Holofens is one of the highlights of the museum's collection and one of the most admired works of Botticelli.